This is an extremely rare video for me to make. This is so rare, it's like a unicorn. A unicorn atop a mountain, looking majestic. No, even more rare than that. A unicorn in a field, pasture, with a waterfall and a rainbow behind it, and light shooting out of its unicorn horn. That's how rare this video is to make, because I normally don't have to further explain myself when it comes to Dragon Ball fan manga chapters or Dragon Ball fan mangas in general. Usually, it is pretty clear what the story is about. It is pretty clear what the situation is calling for. It is clear, 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 clear. But in this situation, it wasn't clear because I got tons of comments asking me why this is happening, why this is taking place. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you have to do some homework because you are going to have to watch. You must watch my last video. It is the newest chapter to a amazing Dragon Ball fan manga where Gogeta trains Broly. And in this fan manga chapter, you'll see what we're talking about because people are asking me why Gogeta is doing this in the first place, why he keeps becoming stronger to face off against a Broly who doesn't seem to be strong at all or what the purpose of the training is. And I guess the chapter wasn't clear enough, but here I am to make it as clear as possible with the help of the fan manga's actual creator. To have full context of what we're talking about today, go watch that video. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below and the top comment. That video is a must watch before you watch this one because at least if you watch it if you get it you'll be like oh yeah i get it i don't know why people aren't getting it or if you don't get it this video will clear up the concept of the training a hundred percent i never thought of it that way before in the latest chapter of gogeta trains broly we get gogeta training broly gogeta actually fights broly in his base form then he transforms into super saiyan but doesn't really go into full-on fighting because he immediately transforms into super saiyan god this godness this form is enough to push broly back quite significantly actually and then gogeta transforms again into blue a transformation that actually triggers some ptsd in broly which to me is a fantastic addition to this chapter to this story it's just that much deeper and entertaining it's really a great manga but people are saying you could have left it there because broly cannot defeat super saiyan blue gogeta that's where you have to understand where broly is at this part of the manga because in the previous chapter he was pushed by Go Goku and Vegeta who both went into UI and Ultra Ego and they attacked Broly at once to push him into the perfected Ikari form or Ultra Ikari if you want to call it, Ikari Instinct, whatever it is, it is him finally being able to control it similar to what Kale did in the Tournament of Power. So that is the Broly that Gogeta is facing off against. So that's already a stronger Broly than the one that we saw before. So in my opinion, he can handle the blows and the attacks from Super Saiyan blue Gogeta but Gogeta goes one step further he transforms into Ultra Instinct and then Ultra Ego bouncing back between the two effortlessly and that's where we lost a lot of the homeboys over there in the comment section because they were confused these power-ups these new levels of Goku and Vegeta in Gogeta should be overwhelmingly too strong for even this type of Broly a Broly that's perfected his Ikari state and you would be right about that. This is extremely powerful for, for Broly. Broly is losing the majority of this fight, but this fight isn't about Broly defeating this version or this, this switching back and forth version of Gogeta. No, this is about Broly unlocking his instincts and honing them, perfecting them. This is what Ultra Instinct Gogeta tells Broly. Broly, your body adapts in battle on its own by imprinting the experiences into your muscle memory. In order to use it to defend and avoid danger, you must learn to clear your mind and tame your instincts. The more your Saiyan blood pumps, the more powerful and vicious you become. You need to learn the correct time to use those abilities. Essentially what Gogeta is telling Broly is that Broly needs to hone his instincts because he essentially has a abundance of both. Inside his body, he 
and his memory and his muscle memory. Everything inside his body can basically adapt to anything, adapt to his opponent. That is the explanation essentially that we get for DBS Broly, where he is as strong as a Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. This is probably the reason that we see in DBS Superhero that base Goku is facing off against a base Broly to get those instincts honed, similar to the training that Goku is already doing with Mirus or has done with Mirus and Whis. And right after Gogeta says this, as Gogeta in Ultra Ego attacks Broly, Broly uses Ultra Instinct to dodge it and punch Gogeta back. When Broly goes for a second punch, Gogeta is forced to go back into Ultra Instinct to block it, immediately going back into Ultra Ego to attack Broly, but Broly is much faster. He's sensing and, and learning how Gogeta fights and attacks Gogeta with a left hook. For Broly to master his instincts, to master offensive and defensive, that is the whole point of Gogeta continuously going into a stronger transformation. And if you had any doubt in your mind, this is what the creator Jordan says about this training method and Gogeta and Broly's relationship here with Broly's new transformation in mind. Broly's Akari state activates through anger, the instinct Broly has to protect others and his body's need to survive. While Broly is within his Akari state, he is functioning on nothing but Saiyan instinct similar to Ultra Ego but more extreme. Broly gradually gains more power the more he gets lost in this state, while his body also instinctually learns its opponent opponents moves and adapts. This is already a Saiyan trait, but in the case of Broly who is already quick to adapt, it's much more potent within this state. Broly controlled state allows him to have all the benefits of his Ikari state if he can focus on when to give into and control his Saiyan instincts, making it a hybrid between UI and UE ingrained into Saiyan biology. When Broly clears his mind and his body reacts on its own defensively, when he gives into his instincts, his attacks are more potent. That's what I told you guys, but this is coming straight from the creator of this Dragon Ball fan manga, whose YouTube channel you can find in the description below. Pump those numbers up, check out his channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this unicorn. Sayonara. Subscribe for more content.